reading price charts bar by bar the technical analysis of price action for the serious trader chapter 8 trend reversals table of contents trend line break trend channel line failed breakouts climaxes parabolas and v tops and bottoms signs of strength in the first leg of a reversal trends reverse with a test either an undershoot or an overshoot double top and bottom pullbacks climax spike and trading range reversals climax three pushes and wedges trend channel line overshoots and reversals expanding triangles trend line break the most important thing within this book is to trade with the trend don't take counter trend trades until there's a significant trend line break almost every reversal begins with a trend line break without this there is a strong trend in effect after a strong trend line break and pullback there could be a possible second leg trade the stronger the trend line break the more likely the second leg will occur trend line break bearish so here we have a bull trend and then it breaks this goes range bound and then we get a test of the previous swing high and the market dumps trend line break bullish so here we have a bear channel see at the end we have an outside bar strong trend line break and it breaks above the ema it comes back for a retest and then we have a bull channel for the rest of the day trend channel lines failed breakouts climaxes parabolas and v tops and bottoms climax parabolas v tops and bottoms all have climactic price action in common they can overshoot and trend then reverse quickly if the first leg of a reversal doesn't break a trend line the main trend may still be going bullish breakout here we have a bear channel trading for a few hours and then we get a failed breakout at the channel lows strong enough to break this trend line and we get a small second leg higher here's a bearish breakout so this is a span of a few days you have three pushes higher the second leg is overshooting failed breakout at the channel highs and then we get a leg one leg two move down here i also have this drawn up because it's a similar thing push one two and three break down leg one pull back leg two signs of strength in the first leg of a reversal if the trend line break is strong it could lead to a good swing if it is weak it may lead to a couple of legs in the counter trend direction the strong trend line breaks will break through the ema and the previous price structure look for strong reversal bars and second entries so here's the same chart but with different things pointed out here's an outside bar at the end of a trend so there's three pushes down one two three outside bar late in the trend is good for reversal and that gets a second leg higher so i'm looking at like one pull back like two into the ema then bears get their deep pullback that retests the low and they go for another second leg there's multiple entries here we can enter here here or here honestly anywhere in a bull trend you just buy low bear signs of strength the big bull channel and the outside bar after a big trend it's hard to see but this black bar right here it trades above the bull bar and below and then goes for a few legs higher i mean sideways and then breaks below the ema but then goes sideways again bulls overshoot the previous high and this creates a double top and they get multiple legs lower for a few days it took about two three days for this to play out trends reverse with a test either an undershoot or an overshoot after a trend line break look for a test of the previous swing high or low sometimes the market can overshoot or undershoot the swing climax reversals tend to overshoot the prior extreme so here this is a bullish test and it's a very steep trend line starting from this swing strong leg down a gap down and then they break the trend line with the first leg here it retests the swing low which would be this price action and they get multiple legs higher closing the gap making it back up to the swing high that it broke down from here's a bearish test we have a bull channel and a breakout 
overshoots and it kind of becomes the climax and then within these this pull flag here we get the trend line break and that creates a double top retesting the swing high and the market sells for two legs lower like one pull back like two this is also a wedge top which is three pushes higher double top and bottom pullbacks if the market creates a double bottom after sell-off this shows the market has made two attempts to go lower and failed the buyers are overwhelming the sellers after a sell-off. This could be a sign that the market is reversing and bulls are taking over. If the market creates a double top after a rally, this shows the market has made two attempts to go higher and failed. The sellers are overwhelming the buyers after a rally. This could be a sign the market is reversing and bears are taking over. Double top. Here we have a rally. We can see a few legs higher and a breakout. The bulls are buying highs and we can see that through these wicks. When the market comes back around, the bulls that got trapped here will get out at break even. Bears will go short at the previous swing high and that will create more sellers than buyers. Double bottom. Here we have a sell off and the bears are getting trapped selling lows. When the market comes back to their price, the bears are going to buy back their shorts and bulls will buy the previous swing low. This creates more buyers and the market will move higher for a few legs. Climax, spike and trading range reversals. A climax has strong momentum late in the trend. The spike means there's a strong move in one direction followed by a strong move in the opposite direction. This type of price action can cause the market to go into a tight trading range. Traders should avoid tight trading ranges. The tight trading range can reverse in either direction. Here we have a bullish spike into a tight trading range. We see a spike sideways, a sharp reversal, and then it goes a lot of overlap for a few hours. But we have overlap here, another spike, and then more overlap. It's very hard to trade this. Here we have two bear spikes, huge bars, a lot of momentum, but it's after a big move that move a big rally. So big up, big down. We get a tight trading range with lots of overlap. This is a limit order market. If you bought the high of this, you're trapped. You sell the close of that, you're trapped. And it happens for a few hours. Three pushes and wedges. Trend channel lines, overshoots, and reversals. Trends often end after a test of the extreme. The trend can have a push in one direction followed by two more smaller legs. This is called a wedge and it shows the market tried to go one direction three times. Here's a wedge top. We have a bull rally down here, a big gap up, makes push one, pull back leg two, pull back leg three. And within this giant wedge, we have a nested wedge, like uh, push one, pull back, push two, pull back, push three. This leg three is testing the high of leg two. And just like the double top, the buyers get out at break even, the sellers overwhelm the buyers and the market moves for a few legs lower. Here's a wedge bottom. There's multiple ways to count this. You have a push one, pull back, push two, pull back, push three. Or it could be push one, pull back, push two, and push three. And there's also a micro wedge bottom right here, being somewhat of a push one, pull back, push two, pull back, push three. And just to show you the strength of this uh, pattern right here and what it means when the bear the bears failed three times. Look, it broke out for several days. Really strong bull trend for about two and a half days. Fall off that wedge bottom. That's not going to happen every time, but I thought that was really interesting. Um, this pattern was nice. Expanding triangles. Expanding triangles are made up of five swings and can be either a reversal or a continuation pattern. Each swing will be at a new extreme. This makes it look like the triangle is expanding. Expanding triangle bullish. So this is zoomed out over multiple days, about 10. We see a leg in a bull trend and the market starts contracting and makes swings one, two, three, four, five. Could say this is the sixth swing. It's kind of a lower high from swing four. So there's a lower high market fails to break down lower a few times and then it has an upside breakout. It caps up and goes for a while. 
expanding triangle bearish breakout. Each swing is at a new extreme. You might say, oh, this is a triple top. It kind of is, but here's a swing one. And then if you look at swing three, it's, a, it's about the same, but swing five is higher. It's expanding at the bottom, so I count it as an expanding triangle. So like one, two, three, four is this cluster, and then five. But let's get the failed breakout, and then it swings lower for several days. Good, that would be a great swing trade or, you know, multiple day swing trade. It's a bear flag. This is another triangle, but it's not expanding because the prices are not at new extremes. New extremes, it's staying contained within this leg. Summary. It's important to only trade with the trend until a strong trend line break. Even once that has happened, wait for a test and a second entry. Reversal has happened after a test of prior extremes. There's a higher chance of a second leg after a reversal if the trend line break is strong. Breaking through the EMA or price structure. This is the end of chapter 8. Please leave any questions in the comments and I will try my best to answer them. Thank you for your time and if you learned anything, please consider subscribing.